try. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. <sighs> I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Anamagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Anamagus? Or did you learn to become one? Anamagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal phial so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. We're making good progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. <laughs> Thank you.
question, B. Hello there. Was there something you needed? Hello. I was wondering if you would be interested in having your own shop and a house elf to help you with it. Penny's the name. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start working with the new owner. It might surprise you to know that Penny can sell practically anything. Oh, it would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and someone to help me. You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up and running. If you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon as you can. Her name is Cassandra Mason. Why is your mistress selling the shop? And you? Mm, Penny cannot be certain as Mistress Mason so rarely confides in her. Mm, however, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. <sighs> Are you all right? Are you holding your breath? <sighs> Penny's fine. Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop talking. What kind of things would I be able to sell in the shop? Kinds, anything from essence of Disney to mooncalf fur. If a buyer exists for something, then Penny can sell it and get the best price. Just ask Mistress Mason. All right, I shall go and find Madam Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. Madam Mason, I understand you have a shop to sell. Yes, yes, I do. Are you interested? Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvellous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I'm quite capable of owning a shop, I can assure you. I should think you'd be happy to have a buyer. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm, an exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favour of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. <laughs> Your faith in me is overwhelming. You're sorely mistaken if you think I'm going to fail. There's that confidence again. And of course, I wish you every success. Do we have a deal? It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. 
her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shot ready for business and ensuring its success. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. Alohomora. What do we have here? A demi guys. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wait a minute, brave? Oh, perhaps this isn't a good idea. Oh, I only meant that it takes metal to run one's own shop. You seem to have it in spades. Oh, of course. And you're right. Shall I head directly to the shop then? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organised, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavours. Penny will meet you there. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Repairer. 